my name is Sanj and today I'm going to be showcasing four different types of shirts that I believe every guy should have in their wardrobe for the upcoming Spring Summer 16. And yes, we've included a word that many wouldn't have thought I would ever use in my video titles and that is affordable. So all four of these shirts are all from high street retailers which goes to bash the misconception of in order to be stylish you need to spend a lot of money on clothes completely disagree. All of these pieces are under £40 which is a fair price for the quality and the amount of wear you'll be able to get out of each piece. So four styles starting with... Now the first piece that I have at hand is a hybrid between two types of shirts that I think everyone should have. One being Hawaiian, the second being floral. Now I was able to find this from ASOS's reclaimed vintage section and it kind of ticks both boxes. It's a very boxy Hawaiian-esque shape to it with the flared Cuban colours if you want to call it. And that bowler shirt detailing and obviously it's got some floral pattern to it in this beautiful pale pink colour which sits great with most skin tone. As you can see it's very very lightweight, um, almost sheer like you can kind of see through it. That's why in the clip that I'm going to show you of my on body and what I've worn with it, I have worn it with this white t-shirt from, what is this t-shirt, from Sandro. So you can wear it without a shirt, you can wear it with the t-shirt, it's completely up to you. But yeah, amazing detailing on the shirt, great cut, vintage, reclaimed vintage, sorry, from ASOS, dope piece. This was the most expensive one out of all of them, this one retailed at £40. I went for a size medium. All the links will be in the description box down below as to where you can get this exact same one. So item number one. Next up we're going full summer. Now unfortunately due to the weather here in England, I don't know if I'll be able to bust this shirt out here, however I have got a few holidays planned, one of which is me going south of France in Cannes, so this shirt would definitely come with me. It's sick and it's from Zara, here we have this off-white, almost light jersey type material shirt. I know it's a shirt and it was in the shirt section, but it's, it's very much so a hybrid between like a polo, very lightweight polo and a shirt. Again, featuring the very extended open collar. Um, that just sits great man. I mean I think that's one of the key trends of this season and this is one that applies it really well. So you've got this detailing, few buttons, an extensive drop shoulder with some even baggier sleeves. So again it just kind of, it drops really nicely basically. It sits well on the body. Now I went for a size large for a slightly oversized touch to it. In terms of styling for this video I went tonal. So. This is off-white. I went for a white pair of trousers from Ralph, and then for my shoes I had my red Todd's. Very summery, very can. All white outfit seems to be a very hot trend for this summer as well, so give it a go, see if you like it. It takes a lot of balls. As I mentioned, I probably wouldn't wear that in the UK, but somewhere like South of France, you can get away with it. Now, the only thing I dislike about this shirt is the fact that it has this sort of ribbed, um, ribbed hem at the bottom, so it kind of just, as you can see here, it's not even on body, but it kind of, rather than dropping straight, it kind of curves in. I find that annoying on jumpers and polos. So on a shirt, it's just even more annoying. It's uncomfortable, that's why even when I had to wear it in the styling section, I had to undo these three buttons. Not that it was too tight or anything, but it just sits very awkwardly. It kind of, it gives off that mushroom effect as, I think it was Bull that always refers it as the mushroom effect. But basically, it curves in and then extra fabric just drapes over. Not a good look in my opinion, so I undid these three buttons. Me personally, I'd love to have a shirt like this very much, but without this part, and that would be perfect. Zara, £35, off-white, short sleeve. It's like massive collar. Sticking with a very summer oriented shirt, we've got this beautiful pajama like shirt from Zara. Man, this one, absolute banger. Many designers have put out shirts with this sort of piping that just gives off the whole pajama vibes to it. Now the first time I ever saw it, well it wasn't the first time I ever saw it done, but the first time that it made quite a buzz and it was pulled off quite well was when 
thing was Ryan Gosling wore it to the Cannes Film Festival. It could have been a year or two ago. But yeah, he, I think he pretty much just took his nightwear, rather than a shirt specifically made for it, nightwear, and then put on some nice smart trousers and pulled it off. It just looked sick. And now we're finally catching on to that sort of trend. Beautiful shirt, man. Zara have it in two different colorways. I went for a size large, could have gone for a medium, but they didn't have it in stock. So this is a large, it is slim fitting, but it goes again with that sort of whole oversized vibe to it. Nice, rich navy. It sort of has that silky, viscose feeling to it. Let me just see the material so I don't trash it. Yeah, so this is 100% viscose, meaning that it, I don't know if it breathes well, but basically it flows and it moves beautifully. You can wear it tucked in, you can leave it out in the styling portion of the video. I believe I'm wearing it with some navy Reese trousers and my Reese loafers. Great look for summer. Again, one that I intend on wearing in can or wherever I go. Also, something that I noticed while doing the on bodies is that pretty much every shirt is interchangeable with other shirts. So even though you're shopping in high street and the prices are cheaper, still try to find that versatility in the clothing. That way you'll be able to as I mentioned, put it off with various other styles, various other clothing. I didn't need to say that twice. But anyway, that's shirt number three, pyjama shirts. And then last, but certainly not the least, we have the bold pattern shirt. This is obviously for those that have more confidence in pulling off what the, whatever they want to wear. This one, however, is from ASOS. As you can see, it's very oversized, and I went for a size large because they didn't have a size medium, which, um, obviously, if something is oversized, you can go as oversized as you want, as long as you don't make it look too clowny. This is definitely, I could have, I should have 100% stay true to size and gone for a medium. If you do intend on buying this shirt, stay true to size, it will have that oversized feel to it. Drop shoulders, which then kind of gives the illusion of having really short sleeves. But again, I mean, these sort of shirts I'm wearing rolled up. So in my on-body portion of this video, I believe I've shown you guys how it can be worn quite, not smart, but in those sort of smart, casual evening drinks vibe. So you wear it with a pair of dark jeans, boots, a nice little blazer to chuck on, and then you're good. And then once you get to the event, you can take the blazer off, roll up the sleeves, and then you're good to go. Very oversized, as I've already said that twice, but genuinely, man, it genuinely is very big. Long in the body, also wide in the body, which was interesting because this isn't a design flaw, but again, this is why when you shop High Street, you've got to bear these details in mind. What happens is, it's very wide in the body, but very slim in the sleeve, meaning that it fits quite, not tight, but it fits quite slim here, and then because the body is so wide, it just looks, it has a tendency to look slightly awkward. Which is why I didn't do all the buttons up. Because if I did the buttons up, then you'd be able to see that it's very slim, boxy body, it looks weird. What I did, however, is kind of how I wear my shirts all the time anyway. So fortunately, I was able to get away with it. But, do a couple of buttons, I'm done. That kind of opens up this body here. I don't know how to explain it, but because you're opening the shirt up here, it kind of diverts from the fact that it's so boxy, so it's just like boom. It's just basically all an illusion of the mind. It's hard to explain, but uh, it worked. So that is that ASOS. This one retailed for 30 pounds? Or it could have been even cheaper than that. 30 pounds, man. Shopping in High Street is sick. Like, you do pay next to nothing for beautiful stuff like this, so. Great shirt, very bold pattern. You can go for whatever you wish, man, whether it's stripes, polka dots, uh, uh, heart shaped, whatever, like an animal print. If you've got balls, animal print is the way to go. But yeah, this concludes my four affordable summer shirts that everybody should have. out some of the shirts those are often the ones that are just sort of essentials that I didn't need to speak about so like a white or a blue Oxford shirt flannels these are the sort of shirts that everyone has already in their wardrobe you're not really pushing the boundary out there and I just didn't feel like I needed to mention it but yeah four shirts really affordable man as I said all of them are under 40 pounds most of them were 30 it's just that reclaimed vintage costs slightly more expensive that's the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed it and hope I crushed 
Some of the misconception in terms of you need to spend money in order to be stylish. Genuinely, man, 30 quid, you can look sick in it. Do you know what I mean? So you definitely, and that's something that I kind of want to drive into my viewers and the people that watch this video is that although I sometimes show expensive products and, and a lot of you guys do say the usual like how do you afford all this blah 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 I don't expect you guys to buy, go out and buy the same things all I'm doing is simply showcasing what I have and hopefully if you like the way it fits on me and the way that I'm wearing it then you're able to find a similar piece to it within your budget like obviously if I'm wearing a if I'm showcasing a Salomon shirt for a fact that same shirt can be found in places like Zara, ASOS, Topman, Rib Island. Obviously it might not have the same detailing or whatever, but it, you can definitely find a version of it and pull it off. So yeah man, hopefully that's kind of what this video was about. Just me showing you guys that you don't need to spend a lot of money to look sick. I would definitely rock all these outfits that I've worn today for you guys. So um, yeah man, it's not, it's not always about dropping that heavy cash. Sometimes it's just about buying smart and buying what looks good on you, on, on me, on me basically, so thank you very much for watching man, I appreciate all the support, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoy the content, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell everybody, follow me on my social medias, all the information are in that corner, it's just Sanjeev, S-A-N-G-I-E-V, that is my first name, and yeah, thank you, have a beautiful day, take care, peace. Navies, your whites, your just any colour besides black. D Gallon Cocaine asked maybe some spring essential walking around with this little bit flapping around. You know what I'm saying? Jokes, I'll still walk around with it. But. So as of recording this, it is Friday. Hopefully I'll be able to put it out today. So do all the editing and put it out for you today because I am off to a festival tomorrow called The Great Escape. It's in Brighton. So if any of you guys are there, just hit me up man and we can chill. Um, I'm watching my boys pros perform and I've got some other friends that are performing all over so I'll be there pretty much the whole day. Vibes. Peace. Also it turns out a lot of you watch the video all the way to the end so yeah. Thank you. Ah, oh, the things you do for a thumbnail man!